Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to calculate the mean absolute deviation, or as some people call it, the MAD. The MAD is the average distance of all the elements in a data set from the mean of the same data set. It may help you understand what you're calculating if you look at the abbreviation MAD. M stands for the mean, which is the average. The A stands for the absolute value, which you will use, and the D is for deviation, which is to depart from the established course, much like this female walker. So the MAD tells you how much the data set deviates off course or from the average. Let's find the MAD of the number of sunny days a month in Sunnyville. Step 1. Find the mean. Add up all the elements and divide this by the number of elements in the data set. When you add the elements of this data set, it equals 154, and divide this by the number of elements in the data set, which is 7, and it equals 22. So Sunnyville has an average of 22, or the mean of 22. Step 2. Calculate how far each element is away from the mean, and use the absolute value, because distance is always positive. When you total the difference, it equals 28 and divide this by the number of elements in the data set and you get a MAD of 4. What's the MAD tell you? The MAD indicates how spread out your data is. A large MAD indicates a data set more spread out relative to the mean. A small MAD indicates a data set less spread out and located closer to the mean. I hope this helps in calculating the MAD Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe.